Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for Snacku once again. This is the December box, which I think they shipped the December box a little bit earlier than usual, which I think is probably because, you know, holidays and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I already looked at what some of the stuff on the card is supposed to be with this box, and it looks pretty good. I'm pretty excited about it, uh, especially off the um, heels of the November box, which was potentially my least favorite box I've ever gotten from Snacku just because it was tea themed and there was a lot of matcha stuff and I just I'm not a not a matcha guy so um yeah so let's get into this one the theme on this is Hokkaido and then let me go ahead and if you want to pause on that and read it go ahead there are the, where the items are going to be we have the popular snacks and the featured snacks so let's get into it first let me show you what it looks like in there Looking good? Hopefully. Okay, let's go right here. What is this? I don't know what this is. I just grabbed something. This looks like it's the Potekoton? Is that what it is? Yes, the Potekoton bite-sized Hokkaido potato puffs infused with roasted dried Hokkaido onions. We can keep eating these forever, they say. Sweet. I like onion stuff, so... And puffs. So this could be a good one. Smell, smells kind of oniony. Ooh, yeah, ooh. Kind of looks like, like a little potato cake with that's like deeply fried. Smells, <laughs> smells a little potato -y. There's not a whole lot of smell to it. It's a little salty smelling. Ooh. Mmm. It's like super crunchy. You know those like crunchy potato sticks you can get in a little can? I think it's like Durkies is who makes them. It's like that. Just like super crunchy, deep fried potatoes. Like, I taste a little bit of the onion as well. But it's mainly just like that fried potato. I'm not going to eat another one of these because I need to keep the video rolling, but I really want to. These are these are pretty awesome. Mm, that's oh, that's really good. I like that a lot. Mm, that's one of those perfect ones you know, I'll say every now and then. I like to drink some craft beer here and there. That's one that would be perfect with some beer. Okay, next thing. I think this is the Jag of Butter. I'll show it to you and then I'll I'll open it up and figure it out. I don't think there's anything on the back. We'll find out together with it. Yeah, that's probably what this is. I like these ones that are then like wrapped in aluminum foil. Nobody does anything like this in, in the United States, so it's just kind of weird. Okay. So it looks like a um What was I gonna say it looks like? It kind of looks like a you know, like a a smaller version of when you go to like um, McDonald's and you get their little apple pies. It's kind of what it looks like. Ooh, it smells really sweet, vanilla y, <sighs> cakey. It smells good. Mmm. Oh, crap. I forgot to read what's in it. Let me read the description. A hit snack in Hokkaido, soft, buttery potato cake filled with mild Japanese bean paste from Hokkaido. Mm hmm. Hmm. This is really good. The outside cake is very soft and moist. Well, not super moist, but it's very soft. The inside bean paste is a very mild bean paste. It's not like super um, grainy like bean paste can kind of get, but it's got like this amazing vanilla flavor. It is very buttery, like it says in there. But it's just like nice vanilla buttery flavor. Oh, this is really good. Man, this one's an awesome one too. Okay, two for two. This is a great box already. Mm. Yeah, that thing is great. Jaga butter. That's phew, that's killer. Okay, we've had uh I've had something exactly like this in the box before. I think we actually had one not last time, but the time before that. Yuki no Yado, Hokkaido sugar cream glazed crispy senbai, which looks like a layer of snow fell on top of the rice cracker. 
one of our favorites at Snacku. Yeah, so this is kind of like a salty, if I remember it properly, it's kind of like a salty senbai that has like this sweet kind of um, milk frosting on it, is what it's kind of like. So, I think I remember that that's, so it, um, if I remember it properly, it tastes like a little sweet, a little salty. I mean, it smells like senbai. I don't smell any sweetness, I smell a little salty. Mm hmm Yeah. It tastes exactly like I remember it. It's very, well, not very, like, it's, it's relatively salty, which I love with my senbai. It's got a nice crunch to it. And then it's got a sweetness that jumps in real quick after the saltiness that's this kind of, like, dairy, like, milk frosting that's got a little bit of a vanilla to it, but it's just bringing some sugariness. Hmm. Yeah, this one's really good, too. This box, dude. This is interesting because this may turn out to be the best Snacku box I've had following the worst Snacku box I've had. Fingers crossed on this one. All three items in the beginning. So good. Man, I love those. So good. Okay, what's next here? This thing. I'm just randomly grabbing things, so... Uh, actually, the... That, that Senbai was the first thing from the popular snacks. Then the Potakotan and the Jag of Butter, those were both featured. This one, I think this is one of the chocolate wafers. Yeah, this should be the chocolate wafer. This is one of the featured items. Um, Royce was founded in 1983 in Hokkaido and has since become known as Japan's top chocolate maker. They make all their chocolates with premium milk from the top dairy cows in Japan and independent cacao farmers in Latin America. We've included their delicately sweet hazelnut cream sandwiched between crispy wafers and coated with chocolate. Dude. Okay, so I like some hazelnut. But I have to really be able to taste it, because I've had things before where it's like, it's hazelnut, but it just, like, I can barely taste the actual hazelnut in it, because, like, the chocolate overpowers it or whatever's with it. So, we'll see how it is. If I can get it out of this... Dang. Here we go. Okay. So it just looks like, you know, chocolate wafer. It smells like chocolate. Literally, that's all it smells like. Hmm. You can see the layers. The hazelnut cream in there. I mean, so the wafer layers in there are very, very delicate. They're not super strong, so you, you're your teeth just cut right through them. I can taste the hazelnut in there for sure with that hazelnut cream, but it's not like super strong. It's kind of like a medium hazelnut flavor. A lot of chocolate to it, obviously, because it's just like coated in chocolate. Yeah, that's good. And like like I say, with ja Japanese snacks that are sweet, it's not crazy sweet and sugary like it is in the United States. It's sweet, but it's like a low level of sweetness that you can eat a lot more of it. It's not going to give you the diabetes. Mm. Look at the chocolate oil. That's there. That's really good. That's like, like that and that size, maybe two of those would be like a great dessert after dinner. Because usually when I have like sweet things, desserts, I don't need a lot. Let me fix this. Is that going to, I don't know, adjust. Wow. Okay. What is this? Oh, pretz. See, when they give us these things, we usually get one of them. So this is from the Popular Snacks. This is Pretz, um, Butter Corn Pretz, Hokkaido Regional Pretz Sticks that taste like delicious buttered corn. What's not to like about these? So we've had, we had one of these before. I think it was supposed to be like pizza flavored or something like that. And it didn't really taste like it was pizza flavored to me, but it tasted really good. I mean, it, so corn, buttered corn. Let's see if I can get this. Me and packages say, see, there we go. Yeah, had one of these before, for sure. All right, gonna pop the top on this. Oh yeah, it smells like corn immediately. It smells like, kind of like, yeah, yep, corn. It, it it smells like the um, you know when you first open canned corn, how it's got like a real sweet smell to it, but it smells like corn as well. Like that's what this smells like. Something like that's very sweet corn. Man, that's 
smells a lot like corn. And to be honest, smelling this and looking at it and that it smells like corn kind of turns me off a little bit. Oh, it's like really hard. You hear how crunchy that is? Not crazy. It's okay. Um, there's a saltiness to it, and it tastes a lot like corn. Like, it literally tastes like corn, lots of corn, with some saltiness and a little bit of a butteriness coming in at the end. So if you like the descriptor that I just gave, you would really like this. For me, I'm not huge on the taste of corn, to be honest, especially in a snack like this, so... It's not my thing. It's okay. I don't hate it. I will eat it. It's okay. That's when I'm going to actually have to have some beers to want to eat it more, I think. I like the crunch to it, though. I'm big on textures and, like, crunchy things. I love crunchy things. It's just a thing for me, you know? All right. So let's keep moving. There's something in, in this box that I'm very, very excited about because I always tell people I, I love it. Okay, next. This thing, I think we've had something like this in the box before. White Thunder is from the Popular Snacks. J Japan's version of a bite-sized cookies and cream cookie bar made with Hokkaido cream. I'm pretty sure we've had a White Thunder in here before. I don't think it was, like, real recently. I'm pretty sure we've had it. So, I mean, it looks like you would assume. Like a cookie bar. It smells... Like white chocolate, sweet but not too sweet and smelling. Hmm. Teeth go right through that. It's very soft. Okay. Looks like cookies and cream. Tastes like cookies and cream. But, okay. Okay, so here's the interesting thing. Now, I'm usually not big on white chocolate. But how white chocolate is done in Japan versus the United States, I feel like white chocolate in the United States tastes very chemical, and it's like waxy and chemically with a little bit of flavor to it. This, it tastes, it's got that little bit of waxiness, but it tastes like white chocolate plus like dairy, like it's a little milky, which I really, really like. It makes it kind of like creamy. It's good, actually. And then you have like the nice kind of like chocolatey, um, cookie portion on the inside. That's pretty good. And once again, you know, with, with the sweet things, it's not crazy sweet. I like that. That's pretty good. Let me try and fix that. Oh, well, sorry. I have one of these, it's a camera on a laptop, so it just kind of like adjusts lighting as it sees fit. So I'm sorry about that. Okay. Next thing. Oh man, these things are really broken up. I'll get the least broken one. Now, this is from the featured snacks, Kinatoya Milk Cookies, made in Hokkaido's pr prestigious Sapporo Agricultural College. These milk cookies are made with 100% natural and organic milk. The quality of the ingredients really show since these cookies have won the International Monday Selection Award three years in a row. Huh. Okay. I was unaware of these, uh... The Monday Selection Awards International. I don't, I don't know what that is. I'll have to look. Oh, crap. Yeah. This is a... It's a mess. Okay, so I, I'll do it over this plate that I have here. Because lots and lots of crumbs. Okay, so it, I mean, it just looks like... Kind of like a butter cookie. Ooh, it smells really good. Ooh, it smells really buttery. But also nice and sweet at the same time. Mmm. It smells awesome. Mmm. Ooh. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. It's like... Okay, so think about... When someone gives you, like, a... It's almost got a little cheese quality to it, but it's really low level. But if someone gives you, like, a really nice butter cookie for the holidays... But this is probably the best one you've ever tasted, to be honest. It's kind of silky smooth once you start chewing it. Because cause the grain of it is very, very fine. So it breaks down real easily. It's very silky in the mouth. It has kind of like a dairy quality to it. Uh, it's a little cheesy, but it's not 
offensive. It's just kind of like this little touch at the end. Buttery for sure, and a little bit of like a vanilla and a, like a nice medium sweetness to it. That's really good. I can see why it's an award-winning cookie. It's a simple cookie, but it tastes awesome. That's executed extremely well. I really, really like that. Um, so the only thing that's really let me down in this is these corn pretzels, and it's not bad. Wow, this box is awesome. This box is freaking awesome. What is this? Okay, this is my next thing. What is this? Yuzu Pepper Kakino Tane. This is from the Popular Snacks portion. Kakino Tane means persimmon seeds. These mini rice crackers are in the shape of persimmon seeds and then topped with dried yuzu citrus pepper seasoning. Oh, okay. So I've had yuzu, I've had persimmon before in a beer. Um, it's been a long time. It's, it's another citrus thing, kind of like yuzu. Yuzu, I've had also in a beer and in some, some of these snacks. We've had some yuzu stuff from um, Snacku before. Now they taste kind of like a mix between like a Meyer lemon and a lime. Or no, a li Meyer lemon and like an orange. Ooh. It smells like it smells like green peppers, to be honest. Yeah. Ooh. It smells like green peppers, which is a little off putting. It's very, very strong. It's just these little things. They don't smell good. It smells like green peppers and cat food. Oh. It tastes good though. Gotta be honest. They taste a little green peppery. I do get that that quick hit of the yuzu citrus, which is pretty good. It's very, very fast though. And then it goes to that kind of Yeah. And then it goes to that kind of like vegetal pepper. And then it tastes like black pepper towards the end and but it also in there like in the middle has a quick hint of like a soy sauce and they're very crunchy I like, I like the crunch factor yeah these are interesting um I can eat these I won't say I necessarily like them they're okay it's just a weird mixture of flavors for me personally I just yeah well, and you can see they got they have the peppers on there. You taste these a lot. You smell and taste those a lot. And I feel like if that was much lower and maybe the yuzu was higher in perception, I would like these a lot more. But they're interesting. I, I like trying stuff like this. Okay, got two more items in here. So second to last thing, this must be the raisin butter sandwich. It's got to be. This is from the Featured Snacks. Uh, raisin butter sandwich Rakatai was founded in 1933 and is one of Hokkaido's preeminent snack maker and is known for making luxurious snacks made with only the finest locally produced ingredients. This snack is one of their originals, original favorites, butter shortbread cookies sandwiching a fluffy cream filling with rum soaked raisins. Ooh. Okay, that sounds good. I like the design here. That's a cool design. Okay. Well, let's hop into this if I can find the best way in. I hope this one's not all broken up. Because, you know. Ooh, yeah. It's pretty... Eh, could be worse, but it's still pretty messed up. Okay, so I'll have to do my best to show you without getting stuff all over the place. You see it's like filled with the cream. It's totally mashed up. I'm going to have to bite it out. Well, mm. I'm still dropping stuff all over myself. <laughs> Dang it. I'm going to clean that up. It's very, it's pretty soft, to be honest. Like, my teeth cut right through the little wafer portion, or the cookie portions. The cream is a lot thicker than I thought. It's very creamy. It's very buttery. And then you get a lot of raisin, but it's not like... A super dark raisin flavor. It's kind of light. Mm. Hmm. It's actually that's pretty good. Um. I wasn't sure I was really gonna like that. I'm not big on raisin, but the rum soak portion of it, I think, brings 
the harshness of like a raisin flavor down a little bit. I can taste a little bit of that rum. It's nice. It kind of gives it almost like a little spice character to it. And it's creamy. It's like nice and creamy. It's got a little bit of a vanilla to go with it. Buttery, vanilla -y. That's really good, actually. Um, kind of, kind of surprised with that because that seems like something I wouldn't like. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Water down the wrong pipe. Sorry about that. <coughs> I swear I'm not dying. No one called 911. We're all right. Okay. And then the last thing, this is the thing I was saying I was really excited about. <clears throat> Honestly, I should have been excited about this entire... Come on. Let's not be so harsh now. Uh, I was... Um, I should have been excited about the whole box, to be honest, because it ended up being pretty damn good. But here we go. Uh, high Chew. I love High Chew. Um, love High Chew. This is an orange High Chew. This extremely popular soft chewy candy was first released in 1975. This specific flavor is made with Japanese winter oranges. Don't know what that means, but maybe I'll find out. I don't know. It's just... <clears throat> Here's the thing. In the United States, like, I've always liked... Um, like chewy things like Laffy Taffy, ta Laffy Taffy Starburst, things like that. But I just, in my older age, I don't like how sugary and sweet they are. Now, high chew for me is like that, but it's way less sweet and sugary. And so that's why I like. Plus, usually they do a much better job with their f actual flavors. Because a lot of like Starburst, Laffy Taffy, the flavors are good, but they taste artificial. These usually taste pretty natural. This smells like orange cream. Smells good. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I love how much, like, spring it has to it, too. It's got, like, it's chewy, but it also, like, gives a little bit of spring back when you're biting down on it. Sorry. I'm sure the sound of me chewing this is pretty annoying. Mmm, that orange flavor is outstanding in that. And it's a little creamy, too. But the orange is just so bright. I don't know about what Japanese winter orange is, but they taste great. I'll tell you that. Okay, so that's the end of the box. That is the best box I've gotten from Snacku. Definitely. Sorry. Haishu takes a while. Mm. Okay, so, I mean, instead of saying what are my favorite things, like, what did I not really like? The buttercorn pretzels and the yuzu pepper kakino tane. Those are the two things I was most like, eh. But what do I like the most out of this? Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. Probably the um, kinatoya milk cookies and the jaga butter. Those top two right there. These two. I think those are my favorite. But these, um, put to Koton, those potato things, those are probably right behind them. Because those things are nuts. Good. And the Haichu. Of course the Haichu. Haichu's amazing. Anyway, um, man, I hope, uh, the January box is as good as this. Let's keep it going. But like I always say, where's the send by? I want a send by only box. That would make me extremely happy. If we can get a tea-centric one, we can get a send by one. So let's make this happen, Snacku. All right, everyone, thank you for checking this out. Put some comments down there, your thoughts. Um, you know, do you like watching me eat things? Are there any other boxes you think I should definitely do food-wise? Uh, I've thought about Boxu a little bit from time to time, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, hit that subscribe if you like any videos that I do. And you can give me a thumbs up, but the subscribe is the big thing. So repay me with that. But thanks for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.